All right. Here we go. We have... Oh, wow, look at that. 31, 31. It's time. My only worry is we don't have enough vaccines. But even if we don't, we should be able to survive. It'll just get... Complicated? What the heck is a nasty chat challenge? Isn't that just every day? Don't I just do a nasty chat challenge every day? Is that where your chat talks about food for nine hours straight and you have to try not to... Stop the stream and go eat dinner? Because I do that every day. That's, that's my challenge every day. Oh, like, uh, um, crowd control? I think we did something like that once, but I much prefer people donate when they feel like they want to donate and not try to force people to donate. It's not necessarily, like, a bad thing. I just kind of prefer to let people donate on their own time than instead of being, like, Donate 100 bits to kill me. We do, um, we do do some, uh, like, fundraisers, but they usually come with, like, giveaways and stuff. I want to say we did, like, one thing like that before. I can't remember what it was. We were talking this morning about how exciting this next year is going to be with games. We have 16 coming out next week. We have Sea of Stars coming out in August. We have Hades 2 on the horizon. We have um, Rebirth next year. We have Earthblade on the horizon. There's a lot of stuff I'm excited about. Which is such a change from last year, where I was just like... Video games? Travolta? I was just Travolta-ing all of last year. <laughs> With the exception of, like, Forbidden West. There's already been a lot of good stuff, too. Like, I'm not super into Resident Evil, but Resident Evil 4 Remake came out. That was a super banger, and... There's been some other really good stuff already this year. How's it going, Arthel? Alright. Here we go. Step Bromph. This is my favorite battle theme of all time. I do agree though, it's hard to compare to the Genova theme. So Genova theme is 
one of the best themes ever. Not really Vigard, we just got an extra vaccine. It should pretty much play out the same way as it did yesterday, but this time we win. Oh, I forgot to throw a vaccine. Rip. I forgot to throw my vaccine. I was so focused on damage. I was so distracted by Bromph destroying my favorite battle theme. It's good. Just totally dumpstering my favorite theme of all time. Good. Mission complete. Puts the shades on. Walks into the sunset. Bromph tears off his mask and reveals that he was Sephiroth the whole time. Find a chair right there. Sun comes out. It was me, Kevka. <laughs> Get only one eye drop. You have to pick one eye or the other. Which one would you want to see out of? John Cena. Beep, 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 brr. How's it going, Jesse? Good to see you, man. Oh my god, three in a row. Oh my god, I dodged an attack from this enemy. That's impossible. Iron Giants and two Dragon Zombies? Brutal.
Pauldron's basically a bad breath on one enemy. damage too, so I kept shield on. Let's just hope we don't regret that. If one of Saber's attacks just like barely kills me, I'm gonna be real upset. But I don't think it will. I think we can just barely survive anything he throws at us. See my part. Thanks for hanging out. Appreciate you, my man. Suede shoes. Dodging everything. I was going super fuzz. Yeah, we'll still die to a crit. Probably. Maybe if we defend, we could survive a crit. But that's probably not worth it. Maybe if he has wall up, I defend. Or even shield. Well, I can't shield, I resist. Can't shield. I like shield right after the D spell and then throw a vaccine. Which I guess would be possible, but again, then, then we're losing two turns of damage, you know? Well, not two, but we're losing one turn of damage if I do that. And that's, that's that part where I really want to be doing damage because his shield will be down. So... Yeah, I think we just hope not for... I just... I think we just hope he doesn't crit us. If he crits us... Bad luck, try again. But I think trying to... Defend for the crit probably isn't worth it. Back to mushroom.
I don't know what the crit per stun is. I feel like it's kind of high. Yeah, Ultima's hit me. I can survive it now. Both out of Gigas and in Gigas. I barely survive it. If I have sadness. I lose sadness, it kills me. So we have to pray he doesn't Aurora fence us. I think to be safe, I'm going to attack once. Does anyone know? It is Sephiroth. Does anybody know how much health the arms have? You know what? I'll just check it myself because I'm like, great. Um, because I'm wondering the reason I got Aurora fenced before is I think it's because I killed the head but not the arms so I'm thinking they have 4,000 so I should be able to just attack once I think And then Pandora's box. And then that'll kill the arms and the head at the same time, and then hopefully I don't get Aurora fenced. Let's go, no one. Oh wait, maybe twice. I don't remember how much Pandora's box does. I don't know, last... yesterday? He used it immediately. We, we killed... we used Pandora's box, and like the first attack he did was Aurora Fence. From what I remember. It was like instant. I don't know why, but... He just, boom, Aurora Fence. So... Not exactly sure why he did that, but... Hopefully this... makes sure he doesn't. Punctuation in space. Oof, that's... Wait. That's enough, right? Did I say 3,000 or 4,000? I said 4,000. So I'd have to attack like four times. Don't be a roar fence. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Both Genova and Bizarro, their model screws up if you use Pandora's box on them. Doesn't affect the fight in any way, it just makes them look weird. Handle. 
the power of the box. Yeah, there's a really, really goofy thing that happens in the uh, Palmer fight if you use Pandora's box. There's no way to get Pandora's box that early unless you cheat, but... You, you unlock his, his true form if you do that. Vincent's on fire. He's ready to win. He's like, I've been in this dungeon too long. Two. any of Barrett's animations because the only one that matters is his death blow animation. Four. That's the greatest animation in the game. He literally winds up a gun. <laughs> he winds up his arm and somehow it makes the bullet stronger. And then he misses anyways. Thank you, Kaleo. I'm not using that on a smoothie. Sorry. If you want a refund... I don't even think I can give you a refund because it's bits, but I can try to figure it out. Five. Look at my MP. I think one of Bizarro's arms should just have like a potion. <laughs> All the other parts have nothing, but the one arm is like holding on to a potion. Secretly. It's a secret stash.
No, there is no potion. I was saying he should have a potion. <laughs> there was no potion. The potion is a myth. The potion was a lie. Come on, man. I don't think he has one. Well, this works out. Kind of. I gotta dodge two attacks now if I want to have full health. <laughs> he now has one. Maybe not, because I got two turns. Come on, baby. Dodge this. You can do it. Dodge, 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 dodge. Yes. All right. Everything is in our favor. We're all set up. We want to get a free turn here. That will help. If we don't get a free turn, then we have to dodge this first Shadow Flare, I think. How's it going, Geologist? Alright, we're not getting a free turn, I don't think. That's too low. Oh yeah, not even close. Alright, we might have to Prage on this first Shadow Flare. Because I don't think we survived this. Okay, so this could be good news though, because I only used one hero drink and we almost survived that. So I think with the second hero drink, we actually survived the crit. Pretty hard stopping. You just, you're looking around and everything, can't find it. Just ready to turn around and go home, but find a chair, find a chair right, right there. there. And the sun comes out. I think the sun has come out. We just need to get that second hero drink out. No, because if I don't vaccine there, I'm dead. Unfortunately, I have to vaccine there. That's such a shame, because a regular hit would have been fine, but it was a crit. We just need to get a little bit lucky at the start. And the day is ours. And you know, if you were playing this mod and you didn't want it to be an absolute RNG fest, 
If you just leveled up a bit more, you should be able to survive that crit without both hero drinks, so. Vander with the Legend of Lagaya resub and the Omni Chair. Holy moly. My man. Thank you. Do I need to back up my saves before installing the mod? I would, but I don't think you actually do have to. Uh, but I would. When you uninstall Final Fantasy, like when you uninstall the game to uninstall the mod, I don't think it deletes your saves, but I have had issues with the cloud, um, the Steam cloud. Sometimes it just deletes my saves. <laughs> Most of the time, it's when I'm moving saves around. Like, if I don't have a save in there, and then I put the save in there, and then I launch the game, the cloud updates and deletes the stuff I added. But other than that, usually your saves are fine. Um, but I would just... Omni Chair has arrived. You will use his power. To defeat the darkness. The special guest, the original Smash Brothers Melee Strategy Guide. This is high quality stuff. You could definitely win a major with the information in this guide. That's all you need to win EVO. It's the information within those pages. So someone asked what level I am. I think I'm 55. Man, seems like she always slaps first. She always tries to get it in. Yes, it did. I could hear it. Yeah, the easy mode starts you at 50. So, I mean, you'd only have to go up a couple of levels and then you could pretty much survive anything with sadness. Now, without, you know looking up what to do from my playthrough, it would still be incredibly tough. You'd have to have a pretty advanced knowledge of sadness and how to keep it and, you know, what items to use and where to get all the items and where to get vaccines. So it's still definitely a huge puzzle to solve, but that removes the need for grinding, really. 
for XP grinding. You could save save most of your elixirs instead of using them on pots. You could probably just use the elixirs you get out of the chests on the way down on the pots, and that would probably get you to like level 45 or 46. Well, maybe not that high, because I think there's only like three. Some of them are mega elixirs. No, that is the way. I'm just saying, if you play on easy, you wouldn't have to do that as much, because you start at 50. Tom berries are incredibly difficult to steal from until you're already level like 55, 50, like high, like mid 50s. I only just recently started finally being able to steal from them. <laughs> Kate Sith Gambit. Reeve programs Kate Sith to go kill Sephiroth. sure how that would play out. Obviously you could game over everything, but if we took out game over somehow, or just didn't let you use slots or something. It would probably be similar to this, but slightly easier because you have a way more useful limit in dice, which is incredibly strong. Kate Sith having to be front row would suck, but wouldn't be the end of the world. And Kate Sith also has really good magic stats, so he'd be doing around the same damage. So yeah, it would probably be similar. The only thing I can think of that would really suck is uh, getting vaccines would be terrible because you'd have to be front row to morph and dragon zombie would just delete you with that bite attack if you were front row how's it going dime but other than that probably be similar I don't actually know if Kate Sith's starting weapon is better than Vincent's starting weapon. Probably not. It's probably worse. Probably worse. How old is Vincent? Uh, he's like as old as Hojo. It also depends on if you count his sleeping years as age. Hojo's not that old. I want to say he's like 50 or something. 50 or 60. I don't remember. Ah, uh, so it's pretty similar. 
just one less magic. So yeah, I think that a Kate Sith Gambit would be very similar to this. Morphing would just suck, but other than that. Morphing would be harder, but you'd have a really nice limit that does a lot of damage. So overall it would be about the same. True, Vincent's limit healing us was pretty vital at the start, which is super cool that it was. So you'd be a, you'd be a bit tougher off at first. You'd have to farm some more potions to be safe. Uh, Mendo with the six year resub, my man. Thank you so, so much for being here for so long. I'm just gonna hope that he doesn't roar offense me. And skill, thank you so much for the prime. Oh man, six years. Truly wild. It is Sephiroth. Alright, if he Aurora fences us. I have to watch the entire Balto trilogy. Mark, thank you for the gift of sub the dime. How's it going, pet friend? You're here just in time. I'm about to win on this run for sure. About to be easy money. Oh yeah, I didn't think about what level Kate Sith would be. He'd probably be a lower level. Which means that first... That first trip down to the swamp would be very difficult. Yes. Uh, actually... I don't remember off the top of my head if it works in the original or not. It might be a Steam-only thing. Or a PC only thing. I don't know off the top of my head. I want to say it doesn't happen on the original, actually, but I don't remember. Oh, 
Oof, yeah, that would be rough because your average party level is also lower when you get Kate Sith. So he'd be quite a bit lower, maybe even like 23 or something, 23 to 25. That would be very scary. What armor does he start with? Because he starts with the worse armor too, doesn't he? That, f that first trip would be really scary. Oh, same? Okay. Yeah, that, that, would, that would be rough. But once he got down there, he'd be alright. Once you got, once you banked some X potions, you'll be all right. Once you got down there, the sun would come out. Artless? Type Mendo. A full party of Kate Sith. The triple Kate Sith squad. Reeve programmed three Kate Siths, the Kate Sith army, to send into the North Crater and kill Sephiroth. You know what would be even cooler about three Kate Siths? Doing the transform limit and having all three of them combined. Like freaking Power Rangers. <laughs> if I did, if I did a mod where it was three Kate sits versus the final dungeon, I would program it so that Bizarro always does the the three party fight. So you could have nine Kate sits <laughs> against Bizarro Sephiroth. Three parties full of Kate Sith. And the other ones would just be copies of whatever your Kate sits were. In fact, I think they have to be because of the way the code works. They'd all just have the same stats. Kate Sith Army. How's it going, Daniel? Every single model is replaced with Kate Sith when?
Please dodge. Do that cool thing where you dodge. I'm gonna try this once or twice. If it gets ridiculous, then I won't keep doing it, but I really want full health for safer. Okay. I'll take that. All right, let's go, boys. Give me that free turn. Give me that free turn. Uh, oh, that's looking like a free turn to me. Nice. No, not nice. Thought we had it. Alright, I... I think we have to dodge this. I think it kills us. Okay. Alright. This is it. We just gotta not get crit. Should be good to throw a hero drink here. And then we shouldn't have to heal. So I should be able to just start blasting. Hit him with the frog song. Should do like 800, 700, 900, more than I thought. Nice. I got the Shadow Flare off. I don't think it makes much of a difference, but... Where do you get Shadow Flare in the North Crater? Does Dragon Zombies use it? Uh, every attack Safer uses is... Uh, attack only he has, except break. Oh, and Shadow Flare. And Wall. Okay, not that many. <laughs> uh, Pale Horse, Dean, Supernova. Is that it? D-Spell. Killing Aerith, yeah. Heartless Angel, but Bizarro also uses it, yeah. How's it going, Dex?
Now, here comes an interesting dilemma. I don't think this heals us full because we have sadness. So here's the dilemma. If I Shadow Flare now, well, we should be good to Shadow Flare here no matter what, because he has to lower. But after this, he's going to dispel us. When he dispels us, um, we get one more turn, he's going to Dean. And then we have to decide if we want to fully heal and block to ensure that we cannot die to a crit. Or we just go all out and hope we don't get crit. But from the damage we took last time, I honestly think we might survive a crit now if we have full health. So we might just heal and go for it. vaccine here. And this is just going to do poopy damage. But we should definitely heal there. All right. Now comes the big damage. We get like four free shadow flares here without his wall up. off in time. Oh, I did. Yes, yeah, Shadow Flare does more damage than Box. Just slightly. And takes less MP. get Supernova. We got Supernova and Smash. How are we not going to get it in the remake? <laughs> you crazy? It's like the most iconic thing in the game.
I would eat my shorts if there wasn't a supernova in the remake. It might even destroy all the planets, because he might, like... Because he does a lot of... Uh... Like, visions that aren't real. So he could, like, pretend to kill all the planets, but he actually doesn't, kind of thing. Like, it makes it look like he's doing it. Is this gonna be break or heartless? Alright, so he's still above 50, or So we have to heal here because Shadow Flare can kill us. Yo, congrats, Bubbly. Hallucinations. Yeah, that word. Nice. Now we could choose to block here, but I'm going to trust that we can survive a crit. Hopefully I don't regret those words. Ooh, or it could just dodge like an absolute chad. some good damage. It's all wall damage, but still. <laughs> they should make the missile terrible in the remake, just to mess with us. Should be the worst equipment. To understand the people that are making the remake are people that played Final Fantasy 7 growing up. It's been long enough to where the people that are making games at Square Enix are the ones that played old Square Enix games. They aren't the same old guard. So a lot of them have very in-depth knowledge of what made 7 special. Now are some of the old guards still there? Yes. But a lot of the people working there are people that are fans of the original game. That makes a big difference. <laughs> so we're getting Mog House Remake. Let's go. Vincent just staring at I don't care about your supernova it's 
666 damage. He ain't messing around. Alright. Break or Heartless? Still break. He's still got... He's still got health. It's gonna be... A long fight. But we're about to do a lot more damage now. Alright, let's think. Should be fine to Shadow Flare here. No. Yes? Yes. Because it's going to Dean after D spell. And then we X Potion. This is our last vaccine, right? This is why we got that extra vaccine. I knew we'd need it. If you defended, there'd be a chance you'd die to Hail Horse. If you had almost max health, defending might be better. But I know healing works, so I'm sticking with it. I don't know how much defend helps. <gasps> we did it! He must have been so close! He must have been so close to 25% before. Because he still used break. So he must have been at like 26%. <laughs> and then we burst him at the end. Let's freaking go. With the 666. We did it. We did it. I am so happy. I'm so happy that this worked out to where we could pull this out. This mod is amazing. I'm so glad it turned out this way. Like, if you did a bit more grinding, anyone could easily do that fight. Like, if they knew what they were doing, if they figured out the puzzle, they could definitely do it. You wouldn't need any RNG. But if you try to go early, you can still do it with good RNG. So it's like perfect. Temple. Temple. I? It's done. Or... Perhaps not. The final confrontation. Vincent's hips versus Sephiroth. <laughs> Vincent's too tall, so it zooms in on his... Groin. And we get the beat him with the Giga Dunk. Giga Dunk him into oblivion. <laughs> Boom. Take that. Best part of the mod, for sure. Dunking on him. <laughs> Pretty hot stuff. And so. Ready to turn around and go home, but find a chair right there when the sun comes out. And so, Sephiroth was defeated, and peace restored to the world. You guys are ruining the moment. 
As for Vincent, he returned to the Shinra Mansion to continue his eternal slumber. The end. There you go. That was Vincent's Gambit. Pretty good. Again, a special thanks to Pet Friend for helping me put this together. It turned out so much better than I would have ever imagined. Like, it's so perfectly balanced, honestly. For, you know, for a challenge mod, that is. It is still brutally difficult, but, uh, you know, in a way that you can overcome it.